Hello, my name is Amita and I am a first year student at Plovdiv Medical University. In this video, I will be talking about study tips. So the first thing I would like to mention is you need to stay on top of your work. Being a medical student, there's so many different topics to consider. There's so many different things that you need to keep on top of. So it is really important that you stay on top of your work. I can't emphasize that enough. It's really easy to fall behind as well. So please do make sure that you do go over your content regularly, whether that's before you go to the lesson, after you go to the lesson, or even on the weekends, please make sure you do go over it. For an example, in anatomy, I think it's really important that you do go over the practical points at least once every two days. This way it keeps in your mind and it stays afresh as well. The next thing I would like to say is Please ask your lecturers and teachers and professors if you do have any questions. They are all really willing to help you out and they will give their time if you do need it um, to go over anything that you are a little unsure about. Also, I would like to suggest that you do go over the content yourself before the lessons as well. This way you already understand a bit more of the concept and the idea behind the lesson and you are able to just clear any doubts that you do have. Also, with that being said, I think it's important to go over the topic after your lesson as well. This way, if you really do have any doubts, you can easily contact the teacher, whether that's by email or whether that's seeing them the next day. So it is important that you do go over the content regularly. Also, I would like to say that previous students, for an example, second years, third years, all the way up to sixth years, and also the students that have already left, have made lots of notes that can be found on the Google Drive. Now, this contains lots of information and it's a very good resource. So if you do have any questions or any doubts, you can always see what other students have put on their notes on this topic. So make sure you do check that out as well. To lectures, I would suggest you take your laptop or iPad or tablet or the thing that you're able to see your lectures on to the lecture. I think this is really important. Of course, you can write down the information from the lecture on paper and pen, as traditionally you would. However, I think it's a very good idea doing it this way. Because when it comes to exam times, all your information will already be on the lecture slides and all you need to do is just go through that. When you do make lots of notes and they are in different places, it can be very difficult to understand what you need to go through yourself. So I would suggest you do it this way. Of course, if you do learn by writing, please make sure you do that. Some people here learn by colors. Some people learn by repetitively doing things. Some people learn by reading as well. So it's important that you do find your way of learning. Medicine is a very strenuous course and the first year is definitely about how you learn and how you revise effectively. So whether this be highlighting, using different colours, using different pens to learn information or whether this be you reading out the information many times. For me, it's the latter. So I need to read the information many different times and learn it actively by talking to myself and to my friends. But for other people, it can be through highlighting. So highlighting information that is important in one color and information that they keep forgetting in another color. So first year is really about how you learn. My way of making sure that I'm up to date with my work is by having a planner. So I have a planner which goes from Monday to Sunday and has an extra notes column. This way, I'm able to make sure I write down all the information and all the things I need to get through that day and tick it off that day as well. If, uh, if there are some topics that I'm not able to go through that day, I can reschedule them and do them for the next day. However, I try not to do this. Also, I think it's important that you do go through some questions. For an example, in anatomy, we have an MCQ book. So make sure after going through the lecture, Look at the MCQ book and see if you're able to answer the questions. If you're not, perhaps there are some gaps in your knowledge and go back to the lecture slides again. I find studying with friends fun. It's a very good way to make sure you understand all the information.
but it is important that you do go through the content before you meet up with your friends and go through it again. For an example, we had our biology exam last week and this way I was able to see if I understood all the information. We went through all the questions and we went through the answers that we wrote down for each of the questions. Where there were gaps in my knowledge, my friends were better at this topic, so it was beneficial for both of us and I was able to learn things from them and they were also able to learn things from me. So I think that it is something to consider as well in making learning more fun. But remember, first year is about learning how to learn in medicine. So don't get too worried, don't stress yourself out, make sure you have a good work-life balance as well. As group lessons only consist of 11 to 15 people, in comparison to lectures, it's more of a personalised way of learning. And if you do have any questions, do not feel shy to ask the teacher. Of course, if you do, you can speak to the teacher after the lesson and you can do the same thing after the lecture as well if you do feel shy. Also, you can email the teachers directly as well. So I think that's important to consider. But please don't be shy and these lecturers, professors and teachers are always here to help you. Remember, first year is just about how to learn and how effectively to learn properly. Don't be shy and give it a chance. So to summarize, the study tips I have for you are to make sure you go through the content regularly. Make sure by the end of the first year, you learn how to effectively learn and learn well. Also to make learning fun, you could meet up with your friends and go through the content together. Don't burn yourself out. Make sure you do have fun and make sure you work too. I hope you enjoyed this video on study tips. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and they will be answered soon. Thank you.